you again. You didn't wake me up. Stop making this. Stop making me even feel more bad. You did not wake me up. It's my birthday. Yes. Let me tell you something. Yeah? You always feel that you can always tell me, like, I need you to take a rest. You, you, do you honestly feel that I don't want to rest? See, when was the last time I spoke with you? You didn't think that I didn't call you because I wanted to rest. My balloon girls, they actually slept in my home. Everybody is up in this house. Everybody as I'm talking to you. I've been awake since one mid, mid like, just mid-morning. You think people would not call, you think you, 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 you deliberately didn't want to call me in order to give people a chance to call me. What's that? That's heartbreaking. Like, you think I want to hear their voice before yours? The last time we spoke was in the evening. I just left you. The last message was like we chatted. I've been sleeping. I'm well, sorry, I don't know what else to say. Fine. Like in the night, one was that was talking to Pastor Toby said, and he was like saying, he 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 you you he's like breaking up with you, and he's going to love Pastor Toby. Like. More evidence has resurfaced on the former Spy Ghost footballer Coyote that said his wife lied to him that his three children belongs to him. But after a DNA test, it was discovered that the two children belong to one of her pastors, who is a, a celebrity pastor. The wife says it's a lie. The commotion started around 2014-2016 when Olare Waju Coyote met Aizen at Dora at the time, Kelde was playing in an Austrian club. Dora had interest in sports management, so their goals aligned, and in 2018, they got married. They were also in love that Kelde surprised Dora by bringing the band to perform live at the wedding. Wedding is over, now it's time for marriage. The problem started when Larry found out that Dora had lied about her age, and in fact, lied about a whooping seven years we assume that dora had earlier told him that they were age mates in 2018 they will have been 25 years old respectively moreover we are not sure how larry found out but after larry found out about the fake age that his wife is seven years older than him thus as every normal person would do he started to doubt everything associated with her dora is not only his wife but also his football agent and lawyer his recent successful transfers in football are credited to her she's also the first nigerian female fa approved football agent but now larry is saying she's a fake lawyer we don't know what happened offline but out of nowhere on larewaju kyle did release an exclusive to pm news in march 2004 where he boldly accused his wife of having an affair with billionaire pastor toby Adego Yega, yes, he's related to Hollywood star John Boyega. Pastor Toby is a very controversial man of God whose church was closed down in UK due to fraud. He couldn't explain how he got 1.87 million pounds. His source of wealth has always been questioned as he boasts with gold jewelries, hangs out with celebrities, shows off his fleet of exotic, expensive cars. In fact, this Pastor Toby was one of those who visited the video when he tragically lost Ify, so he should know something about respecting families. It was as if Pastor Toby knew what was coming, so recently he staged a peace walk in support of women, and someone said, hmm, looks like a big scandal is coming, and that's why this man is doing this. In perspective, we will find out if it was an accurate prediction. Kaude claims his wife met Pastor Toby through an associate of Daddy Freeze. One year today, boss line was the one who hooked Dora and Pastor T together. In the exclusive expose, Larry revealed that he found out his wife has been having sexual relations with the UK-based pastor for years. Simply say she has been double and even triple dating while in marriage. 
Mr. Coyote also added that Dora will leave home for days without tangible explanation, which he later found out that she spends those time with Pastor Toby. They were either together discreetly or they were sharing the moment with many others in their frequent sex orgies. Looks like Onlarewaju has enough evidence. So if we add 2 plus 2 technically and hypothetically, there's a possibility that Ezine Dora may not even know the true fathers of her children. According to Larry, Dora sold two of his exotic Mercedes Benz and gave all the money to Pastor Toby. We are not talking about V Boot or ML350. We are talking about G63 Mercedes Benz worth nearly 500 million naira and a black unnamed Mercedes. Like that wasn't enough, Dora went ahead to connive with an estate agent to change most of Larry's land properties from his name to her name without his consent. Anyways, as tensions further increased, she tried to win over the Nigerian authorities to her side by convincing them that Kyle is a drug addict. So SARS and police were discreetly threatening him, pressuring Kyle to hand over some of his properties to Dora. All of this was happening between 2021 and 2023. It was the major reason he flopped so hard that he dropped to Division 2 of Turkish Football League, where he still impressively managed only five goals in 25 appearances in two clubs in the whole of 23. As Pabola that he is, he became suicidal and depressed to the point he was recused twice, attempting to unalive himself. So he decided to humbly terminate his contract with the Turkish club side due to the repeated poor performances as a result of the mental stress from his wife. Now they are both unemployed and his football career is practically over. Then they returned to Lagos. Finally, Onlare Wajukaudi challenged Dora. It got heated. Dora fled home with the three kids, went to passport office, tried to bribe her way to manufacture new identities for herself and the three kids to sneak them to UK. Somehow it didn't work out quick enough. DSS later tracked her to a subtle Abuja estate, arrested her because Kyle already reported the case as abduction of his kids. Dora was arrested, but she jumped bail, meaning that after she was released on bail, she didn't return for trials. So like this, like this, she already has issues with the DSS. Oh, Dora wasn't only cheating on Kyle She also abuses him physically, according to Kyle In all of this, Pastor Toby's only reaction is too busy to listen to lies and focused on raising people from difficult backgrounds to greatness. Now with Dora out of cards to play and with Kyle Day steadily demanding for his properties, cars and kids back, Dora did what every woman in a tight spot will do, which is to gaslight. All this happened around February to April and then boom, news went out that DNA reveals that on Larry Waju, Kyle Day is not the father of his three kids with Aizen and Dora Kyle Day. Now, if you actually check the viral rumors, you won't find anyone anywhere that can direct you to where or when or how Coyote actually said this. But somehow, major influencers, prominent news media houses, and major blogs carried the news on the basis of allegedly and reportedly. Dora saw that she was trending everywhere. She took to IG to say that Olare Waju didn't conduct any DNA tests on her kids. She swore that Larry is a liar. She claimed Coyote is mentally disturbed. Then she denied giving money from a sold car to any pastor or imam, but she didn't deny selling Kyle's properties. She also didn't deny having an affair with Pastor Toby Goiga, lawyer. In fact, many believe that her write up was structured to manipulate and win sympathy. Her lawyers ordered Kyle to tender a public apology for lying about conducting the DNA test, but the best thing she did was to openly say that she's willing to do a new DNA test at a neutral hospital. Now, Coyote's team's response was even madder. Coyote said even him doesn't know who started the embarrassing DNA rumors. Via his lawyers, he said that only Dora can pull off that kind of stunt because like I earlier mentioned, all major blogs and news houses carry the unverified story like it was a coordinated operation. According to Coyote, he believes that Dora is responsible for pushing this ghost DNA story to the media in an attempt to save her face and appear as the victim. Now, the DNA story is officially confirmed fake, aka ghost DNA. 
and it makes sense because if he knows the three kids are not his so why is he still fighting to get them back and even going as far as using the dss to search for the kids hmm just a thought though anyways kind of this team said they won't make an apology because if they apologize it means that they are admitting that they are the ones responsible for the viral ghost dna rumors instead Kyle's lawyers advised Dora's lawyers to tell her to stop wasting her energy on PR gimmicks and just return all of Kyle's assets that she has taken or sold and also confess about her promiscuity with Pastor Toby. According to Kyle, Dora is playing a familiar manipulation script. Let's assume Dora is guilty of cheating. She can't just admit it because if she does, she will lose everything, including the kids. So you see, it makes sense why she's trying to change ownership of some properties for herself. Kyle's team reached out to the real estate man who was trying to help Dora take Kyle's properties. His name is Ugochuku Ibuanugo. Ugochuku denied, said that he was never met or knows anyone called Dora Kyle. He communicated via his lawyers. But as God will have it, the same lawyer representing Ezine Dora Kyle is the same lawyer representing Mr. Ugochuku Ibuanugo and Kyle's lawyers noticed it instantly it could be a coincidence but even lai wasabi won't handle a case like that we await dora's legal response to kyle's emphatic rebuttal meanwhile bola has publicly listed all seven properties that agba bola is trying to sell or own kyle is the bola dora is the agba bola that's all for now this story was sourced from various trusted journals if by any way it seems biased Please forgive us, we just naturally tilted to whose argument was more logical at the time.